Hi, I'm Corrigio Humphreys, or WeCJ, and this is Commander Class. Commander Class is going to be a series where I will teach you, the viewer, on how to play Commander. We will first start off at a basic level and then keep going to advance, talk about like old rules, new rules, how cards interact and stuff like that later on in the series. And my plan is to go through kind of everything and then continue when they add new stuff on. So if you are watching this video, you are new to Commander or thinking of playing Commander itself. So this is going to be the first class and kind of everything you will need to start playing Commander. So we won't be talking about any of the actual proper rules and stuff. It will just be the requirements needed for you to actually start playing. So you're probably wondering, what is Commander? So Commander is a kind of subzone of the, the Magic the Gathering card game where it is two to four players. You can play more, but most people play four players, but I've seen a lot of people play two. But uh, the best way to play this game is, is a four player game. So to get started in Commander yourself, you will need to have three things. One, a Commander deck that you can actually buy online as a pre-con, which is usually kind of good. Majority of them, the last few years, are really good to start off with. The second thing you will need is dice. Dice is used for many parts and aspects of the game. There are many reasons to use dice, and I will get onto that in a different video, or you will learn some later on. The third thing you will need is something to track your life total. But what is a commander deck? A commander deck is a legendary permanent card, usually a creature or planeswalker, for now you don't need to know what they are, that your deck is based around. So if you look at a commander, we will pick something that is a Wilbur commander because there is five colors in magic. And again, later on in the video, you don't need to know really now just for starting off what the colors mean or anything like that but your entire deck has to be based on the color identity of this legendary permanent so the color identity can rather be seen on top or somewhere as long as it is somewhere on the card that is the color identity of your commander so if you want to play something that is all five colors your legendary permanent has to have all five colors on the card itself your commander stays in the command zone on its own little area and it is rather your 100th card or your 101st card as well because there is different ways to have two commanders i will get onto that in a later video right now if you are starting off the best way is just to have the one commander until you've gotten used to the rules because there's not many commanders there's not really many commander decks that have two and when they do they're usually kind of in the deck and they're not you told to be used for your first time the deck itself is 99 to 98 cards depending on how many commanders you have and the cards have to be singleton which means they can only be a named card there can only be one of them except for a card except for basic lands and here is what basic lands look like it will say it here you can have as many basic lands as you want however if it is kind of a name card you have to only be able to have one of those in your deck so the main part of the game is it's kind of like a team but betrayal game at the same time that everyone has 40 life including yourself and the aim of the game is to get everyone's life total but your own down to zero there are many ways you can do this but to start off most people say do it with attacking creatures and blocking with creatures you don't have. There are other ways to win the Magic the Gathering Commander game, but I will get onto there in later videos. So the second thing you will need is dice, and dice come with many different things. Some people you can get two D20s. There are also counter dice that are D20, but they are rotated around from top to bottom from 20 to one, so you can just spin it to lower your health. And people use two of them, at the start you can also get uh, life counters which are paper form or these little plastic circle things that will also track your health people also use their phone or there's apps that people use to track all four players health there's many different ways to track your health but to start off i've seen a lot of people use dice in the game there are different reasons to put dice on things so you kind of need a variation of dice so you can kind of go to your local GameStop and there's usually like a little box a little plastic box 
with a D3 to a D20, I would, I would recommend getting at least one of them when you are start playing Commander for the first ever time. If you are just getting into Commander and you've done a little bit of research on your own and you still don't know where to start, I recommend buying a Precon. You can get them online on Amazon or eBay, but I would recommend personally go to your local game shop because they usually do good. And if you are confused and tell people it's your first time, there's usually staff there or people playing that you can sit down and talk to and they can give you the rules. The commander deck will have everything you need except for dice, but it will give you a paper life counter, usually depending if you buy the newer ones. I know that the older ones didn't have them. And it comes with a sheet with the basic rules that you can sit down and read. But if there is someone there with you, it is easy to sit there and learn off them. So now we get to the point of the conversation. What is your commander? The commander is kind of the main building block of your deck. It kind of will do everything your deck needs to do. So a lot of the times when you are playing with someone that is been playing the game for a while, they already kind of know a handful of the cards in your deck just by solely looking at your commander. For example, I will use this Wilbur commander again to talk about that when someone looks at it, they know that you will have cards of all five colors in there and then a few artifacts. However, if you are using something like this commander, that is a solid green and there is no other uh, colors towards it, people know that you are playing a green deck and a green deck usually has its own little ways to do so you can kind of get the gist of what cards are in the deck and that is just something you learn over time. Checking the text box of the commander also kind of gives you a gist of what is in the deck itself because if you have a commander that says it costs cheaper by the power or toughness of creatures you have on the field people think you're going to be playing big creatures or lots of little ones so right now that is everything you need to start commander and i will go through it very quickly now so one you need a commander deck i recommend having a pre-con two you need a small plastic tub of dice or you can bring dice if you have it from other games you play and then something to keep a health total the card stuff you need to know right away is that usually the card on the pre-con is the commander and reading that will give you kind of the gist of what you need or if it's kind of like if you read what the commander does and you kind of like the idea of that deck i recommend buying it because there's lots of many commander decks that do lots of different things it depends on kind of what you feel later on people buy pre-cons to use as kind of upgrades for decks they already have i do it myself so they're still good even later on when you have evolved and played magic and know how to play properly or know how to play that when you start building your own decks from scratch you know that the pre-con you bought is not just going to go to waste this is the basics of what is necessary for you to play commander so in the next video the second class i will be talking oh talking about the turns so it will be kind of when you sit down and have everything set up where everything goes people will play slightly differently but i will go how i threw it how i go through it and how some other people go through it themselves and then i will talk about the turn itself how you take your turn and how others take theirs so if you like this video remember to like subscribe and share hit the notification bell and i will see you in the second class and if there is any information you need please comment down below and i will try and help out as much as possible if you want to reach out to me it's easy to do it on tiktok so follow me on tiktok instagram and twitter and i will see you in the next class